Hi everyone, this is your host Prasha and welcome to Her STEM Stories, episode number 99, just one day away from the big 100 and I wanted to reveal what the 100th episode is all about. It's going to be about where they are now. So where are our guests now? Some of our really, really great guests have become super popular since we chatted with them. So I wanted to give you an update on their stories and where they are and also encourage you to go back and listen to their episodes. So do not forget to tune in on Wednesday, and there's a wonderful giveaway at the end of the episode on Wednesday as well, so make sure you tune in then. And today is the final in- installment of our Confidence Toolkit series. So we were doing this series for the past couple of weeks And we went over how to create your confidence toolkit. And you guys have been so wonderful with your uh, feedback of the series. So please keep leaving us reviews because I will be reading the reviews every Wednesday. So let's get started with the final installment and learn how to create a habit kit. Let's get started. So far, we've covered why you need a toolkit, a confidence toolkit, how to feel less anxious, more confident, and set yourself for the best 2020, (laughs) for the best year yet. So I spoke about ways to cultivate gratitude. I spoke about how to learn and put things in action. And today we're going to talk about how to build your habit toolkit. And you can go back and listen to these episodes. They're alternate. So not the last episode, the one before and so on and so forth. Habits are so important and they can start a ripple effect to push us in the right direction and to bring our dreams to life. In the last three years, it's habits that have totally transformed my life from reading books to making my bed to waking up early to working out and meditating almost every day. They have make, made me a better version of myself. There is too much value in small actions when done over a prolonged period of time. Setting a small step is all you need. So what will you include in your habit kit? So I want to give you an idea of this habit kit, but also a technique called habit stacking, which is becoming popular uh, nowadays. And this technique is what's going to set you up for success. So one is to create that habit kit. So what will be the habits that will be a part of that habit kit? And the part two is how to actually stick to the habit. So let's start with the habit kit. So what you could do to start your own habit kit is by listing the habits that you definitely want to get better at. So you can make a list of things that you really want to do. And I want you to get honest here because I don't want you to just write habits just because, but really get crystal clear on what habits you really want in your life. Break them down by evening or morning routine. So which habits would you want to do in the morning? Which habits would you want to take up in the evening? This will help you group the habits in two different categories. Now, rank them by how you feel about them. For example, reading was easier for me. So I would have ranked it on a scale of 10, maybe 4. But waking up early was an, was an 11 on a scale of 10. So you've got to rank, rank them because this is going to tell you how, how to pick the habits in your habit stacking uh, exercise and how to actually rank them. Uh, so rank them, but with 100% honesty. So you cannot lie because there is no one to cheat here except for yourself. So you have to be very, very clear that these are things I struggle with and these are things I'm really good at and I might be able to do them soon. Start by the easiest ones on your list and do it for next 30 days. So start by the the habit that you've ranked the lowest uh, and start there. Uh, Use habit stacking instead of trying them all at once. So there's no rush. You're not going anywhere. I know many of you have started your 2020 resolutions and have already failed, including myself. And why does that happen? Because we overwhelm ourselves with trying to change our lives so fast. Change is one of the most difficult things in life. And there's a reason we need to pace that change and pace ourselves as we go through change. And habit stacking is the exact formula that you need for habits to stick. Once you master one habit for 30 days, you stack the next one on your rank list and stack that. Over the next six to eight months, you would have created your very own habit kit. 
The beauty of this is that it's self-paced and starts the positive feedback loop that you need before you get discouraged and give up on everything that you're doing. So it's really important to trick your mind into believing positive results into getting positive results first and once you once you get those results you get more motivated and you get more excited and then now you have more energy to put into these tougher habits that may not come to you naturally and you have to pace yourself because remember you don't want to just do workouts in January you want to do workouts for the rest of your life for a longer period of time because All the results that you're going to get from these habits are going to happen over a period of 8 months to 12 months and beyond. Uh, I started making my bed almost 3 years ago and it took me a while to get in the habit and now after 3 years it happens automatically. So it takes time and we patience is the key guys with habits patience is the biggest key so remember that please Uh, please utilize these tips and if you really have questions and if you really struggle with certain habits don't forget to write to me at herstemstory at gmail.com i'm always here to answer your questions and think about this technique for all your habits uh, whether big or small One thing I want to uh, plug in here is a book that I read called The Miracle Morning. I absolutely loved it. It's really great to create a morning routine, uh, but also it talks a little bit about the stacking uh, in terms of time too. So sometimes you may need to also do a stacking exercise on the time part. So instead of working out for one hour from day one, you may want to start working out five minutes, 10 minutes, and then kind of stack the time. So you can do this in many many ways and it's just it just with time it continues to get easier so please utilize this these tips and tell me how they helped because i am so excited that this series was everything that i wanted it to be i hope you enjoyed it as well if you would like to get coached by me i'm launching my conquer your career one-on-one coaching program to learn more use the link in the episode notes and sign up now to be the first one to get the updates on this program and to learn more about how you can work with me in the future as well so please go ahead and sign up and this is a very limited opportunity it is a very small group Uh, It's going to be one-on-one coaching, 12 weeks, really intense, really wonderful, uh, life-changing, and extremely powerful. So please sign up and uh, can't wait to see you next uh, in the next episode. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for listening.